Greetings! We back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the NECA The Last Ronin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sinja Patrol Bot. Now, I got this figure about two weeks ago. And I knew I wanted a couple of them because this figure came out so awesome. I'm going to tell you something. It rivals Marvel Legends. Okay? As far as scope and design and articulation, this particular figure came out pretty well. Now, at first I thought it was a bigger figure like NECA's normal 7-inch figures, but it's not. It's actually a 6-inch figure. But it's a cool 6-inch figure that we're going to review today. Now, as we take a look at the box, you have the artwork design right here. Um, side, Last Ronin. The back, it actually shows all its read-ups. You can read it, pause that and read that up if you want to. But um, if you haven't read this story, I advise anybody who's into Ninja Turtles, and we got like a Ninja Turtle kick right now because we got the movie, the movies out right now, to uh, definitely read this book, The Last Ronin. As far as the inside of the box, this is what you're getting. So pretty much, you're getting this little drone robot here. You're getting another head sculpt. You actually get another head sculpt, which is a pretty cool head sculpt. So you can show it, see, see it. Yeah, it actually came out pretty good. The paint apps on this guy is impressive, but this is pretty much the layout of what you're getting when you uh, purchase this and you open a box. But let's take a look at it outside the box. Now, outside of packaging, you know, you get two sets of, two sets of heads. Now, what I did was. I'm pretty much just the same figure, just had different head sculpts. The design of these particular figures that NECA has given us is, I want to say, it is super impressive to see that, you know, everyone co who collects NECA, you know, you know what type of articulation you're getting. You get a, you know, a standard articulation, a very good articulation, but with this particular one, this is a all new sculpt that I think they took the liberties of actually showing or testing the waters of what. Hasbro Marvel Legends could do, or what McFarlane could do, or any other toy line that has high articulation like your SH figure arts and everything. But overall, this particular figure came out pretty impressive. When I look at his head, it's very interesting because it gives you that Snake Eyes vibe slash Metal Gear Solid. If any video game heads are watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. But this particular design and character, man, I gotta say that uh, Kevin Eastman, you know, is actually looked like it stepped out of the comic kevin eastman is very talented as far as giving us great designs and um good story but uh yeah this design of this particular sort of like a patrol bot um i don't want to like spoil the book for anybody who hasn't read it yet but um pretty much these are like sentry bots that pretty much are um part of the foot soldiers um task force and what it is is that these are sort of like cyborgs so they're human but they have a endoskeleton type, you know, robotic cyborg mechanism going on throughout the entire body. As you can see here, you know, his hand sculpts and everything. The sword, he comes with a gun, which is right here. And this gun is removable, so you can actually take this, p this pistol out and actually just store it right there. His sword does go in its sheath. So I'm just going to show you some quick accessories and everything, but... This is an actual, absolute unit of a, of a character. Um, for anybody that collects action figures, you know, these particular type of designs, and I'm all for, like, any cyborg action figures that we get from retail, you know, especially if it's affordable, that you would want to build up or army build this guy. This is a perfect army builder for pretty much any of your setups or displays, whether you collect Marvel Legends, whether you collect, um, you know, SH figures. Like, it's a six-inch figure. Okay, and that's why I said that this, like, it's sort of like borderlines in between 7 inch and 6 inch. So I would say like 6.5 the most. But um, I am really impressed by what NECA has done with this particular figure. As far as the accessories, what you get is you're going to get this actual head sculpt right here. So you get a, do, you get a whole nother head sculpt, you know. And it's painted, it's got the visor look and everything on it. You get this little sentry bot type machine that is pretty much with TCR, TCRL it's pretty much Baxter Stockman's little um, henchman bots 
But like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying to spoil the story. Whoever haven't read the story, you really should uh, do the due diligence and actually read the, uh, the Ronin because it's really good. Here it is. You have another head sculpt where you can actually see the eye inside of his mask. So it's like it's cracked and it looks really impressive. It looks like he's been through some serious battles, you know, fighting uh, the Ronin, you know, and it actually has like a little circuits at the very end here. So you can see these are like cybernetic patrol bots. The cool thing about this extra head scope is NECA not only did give us another head scope, but he actually gave us an articulated neck. So this neck can move. It's it moves and functions just like this particular neck on here, you know. So if you want to like get it in crazy positions, like he ripped his head off or something, you can do that. You know, it has a ball joint up in the um, base of the head. But this is very I got to say, this is very impressive. Very, uh. Very interesting on what NECA has did here. You also get uh, three sets of hands. So you're going to get your open hands for him grabbing or if he's doing like some kung fu moves. You get your closed fist. So he does come with the closed fist and everything. You get... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you get your, your blaster and you get the sword that goes on his back. As far as his articulation goes, he does have double jointed knees that can go back about that far he can kick out he can do the splits so he can kick very far out he does have a hip um, thigh hinge right in here so you can twist it back and forth as far as his ankles it can go down that much go up that much and it does have a little bit of ankle rocker just in case you want to you know get him in those funky designs but like i said like what neca has done with this particular character is pretty impressive he doesn't have double jointed elbows but since he's a robot what's cool about this and i actually found out by accident i don't know if you should do this or not but this particular arm it came out and it's not broken because because he's a robot if he's fighting a ninja clan or whatever you know, this arm could be like splayed out, thrown to the side. You could put some blood effects on here to have it like, you know, his arm got cut off or something. He's like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it easily goes back in. And so like that. So it does have a nice good click when you uh, put his arm back in. As far as his, all his wrist, his, his hands do have articulation in it. So he can go back and forth like that. But I'm really digging this particular um, character, man. Like when I saw this at... Um, the comic, the, the toy convention, I already knew that I wanted to get this. As far as his um, waist, so you can't, you do have the waist. So you can twist back and forth, goes all the way around. And then he also has an abdomen that he can, you know, lean side to side if he wants to. As far as I'm going back, he can go back that far. He can go forward about that far. So overall, this is a very well articulated um, action figure. If you want a fence about getting this guy, I would say go ahead and pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up because the design and everything that NECA has done with this, I know they're making another version which is going to be all white, so I guess that's going to be the elite class of this particular ninja. But you know, overall, I got to give NECA props for this particular um, character. I mean, like I said, if you are into army building or you feel you, you want to army build this guy, I think it'd be a good opportunity to get yourself a couple of them. I personally have four. I'm looking for two more right now. I'm actually finding them at GameStop. So GameStop right now is pretty much getting a lot of the Ronin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. And I think they're going to start getting the Turtles and some of the other Mirage comics um, Ninja Turtles as well. But overall, this is an awesome figure. As far as size comparison, here he is standing next to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ronin Turtle. And here he is standing next to the new rele newly released Jada Toys Street Fighter Phalong. Here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends Hasbro Captain America. And here he is standing next to the McFarlane Toys Blue Beetle from the Blue Beetle movie wave. And like I said, it's not really, it's like a 6.5 inch figure because of the antenna that's on this particular head sculpt is the reason why I would say that. 
But um, like I said, you could fudge these in with Marvel Legends or G.I. Joe or any of your six inch figure line, including Wolverine, which I'm pretty sure this guy will look cool next to a Wolverine. And in saying that, I might as well just get out the Wolverine just to show you the design and the character. I mean, I'm getting so many ideas off of this particular size comparison. But yes, Wolverine looks good next to these guys. And you already know the displays that people are going to pop. There's a possibility of endless as far as displays you can make with these murderous Sinja patrol bots. And there you have it. That's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA, The Last Ronin Sinja Patrol Bot. Um, if you're interested in picking this up, like I said, you can probably find it on your online retailers, but the majority of what I'm seeing that's coming in is coming in through Best Buy. So if you got points or rather, or if you just happen to be browsing past Best Buy and you're looking for this particular character, I would say pop in there and see what they got. See if they're on the shelf or see if they're in stock. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this particular character. If you're going to pick it up or not. Or if you already have it, what do you think? And I'll catch you in another video in the future. Peace.